So why would you consider business expense insurance and not just use your income protection insurance? Well, there's a couple of key reasons as to why. Generally, when we work it out, we can actually create a cheaper policy all around from a premium perspective, but also from a post-payment perspective. Let me explain. Income protection actually comes back to you and you pay tax at your marginal tax rate on the amounts that the insurance company pays you. So if you earn 100 grand on your insurance policy throughout the year, then you will pay tax or 100 grand will be added to your marginal tax rate and you'll pay tax accordingly. Business expense insurance, however, is a business expense. They put, your business actually funds the premiums of that policy and if needed, that policy then pays out into the business. So the business receives the $100,000. Now, if you've got $100,000 worth of non-discretionary expenses that it's allowed to pay, things like rents and leases and insurance policies and various other different things, well, you don't pay any tax on that. So the reason why it's very, very important to not just think of an income protection policy and to think of income protection plus business expense policies is because as business owners, quite often what we have as assets ourselves and what are in the business and what the business owns, sometimes there's a very, very blurred line between the two. Well, let's separate that line. Let's use income protection policies to make sure that you're covered for what you need to personally and let the business cover what the business needs to cover in order for you to make sure that you've got the perfect scenario should something happen.